As a Foothills student, you have access to a suite of tools called Read Write for Google. This suite will give you the tools to help read long passages of texts or using your voice to write long passages of text. In order to use these tools, however, you first need to sign your Google Chrome web browser into your School Division account. If you're using a Chromebook, this has already been done. If you're using a computer, however, you do need to do this manually. And to do that, if you look up in the top right corner of your web browser, you'll see a little person. And it just hovering over it says current user. When I click that, it gives me the option to turn on sync. Turning on sync is how you log in to your Chrome browser. So I'm going to um, punch in my uh, computer login and password, which in my case is FSD Web Learning. Yours will be your first name, <clears throat> dot your last name. If I click next, it'll ask me for my password. And as soon as you enter your password, it will give you the option to link data. This is important because this pulls in all of your different tools. So I'll click link data. And it will say, do you want to turn on sync? And I'm going to say yes. And immediately you'll see all of my tools start to appear, including this one right here called Read Write for Google Chrome. You, so to use that tool is fairly straightforward. Um, you can see I'm in a biology class right here. So let's say I, I didn't want to have to read the long paragraph. Instead, I'd like to have it read to me. What I can do is press the Read Write button, this little puzzle piece, it's now on your toolbar, and you'll see this bar up here. And a couple of tools that I would use right out of the box is this one here called Hover Speech, and this one here called Talk and Type. Hover Speech will read aloud anything underneath your mouse, and Talk and Type does exactly what it sounds like. It will actually type whatever you say. So uh, for an example, I could on this page push hover and then hover my mouse over the piece I want to read. In module one, you discovered how the body senses changes in your environment and then communicates these changes through the peripheral nervous system to the brain. Now I might find that's a little bit fast for my liking. That's no problem at all. I just have to click these three dots right here for more. I need to go to my options and I just turn the speed down under speech. If I want to try a different voice, I can do that here. And there's lots of different uh, dialects and different accents in there. But once I've done that, I'll press OK. Go back to my page. And then, always when you make a change, refresh your browser, reopen Read Write. And now it should work with the new settings. So I'll open up my hover speech, put my cursor over top. In module one, you discovered how the body senses changes in your environment. And you can see how it's reading at a much more regular level. Likewise, I can use the uh, uh, speech to text um, piece anytime I want. So, for example, if I go back to my. Um, my course here, maybe I've got a, um, an assignment I want to hand in, and I'd like to add a comment. I can just put my cursor in there. I can open up my read write. I can press the um, talk and type. I do have to give it permission to use my microphone. And now everything that I say will be written. period. Once I'm done, I simply have to push talk and type and it will stop recording what I say. I hope that helps you in getting some of your work done and um, feel free to ask your teacher if you have any questions.